A local police chief was removed from his office on Monday by SLED. News Channel 6's Dorika Young live in our newsroom now. Dorika, you got to catch up with Barnwell, South Carolina's mayor about how this town's going to move forward and keep everybody safe. Mayor Edward Lemon of Barnwell says Chief Reuben Black has been working for the city for nearly three years now, and he's never known to do anything wrong. We also spoke with someone who knows the chief as a family friend. Well, I've just known um, Chief Black all of his life. I, I grew up with him and his family. Roxy says she doesn't understand why this happened, but hopes that this can come to a conclusion soon. He's always been what I would consider a, a good man of character. Yesterday morning around 11 o'clock, three sled agents showed up in my office and said that they are doing an investigation. An investigation that involved Barnwell Police Chief Reuben Black. We th thought it best to suspend him until we get uh, the investigators, until SLED completes the investigation. So far, SLED has not given any additional information. If Brian Johnson is now our acting chief until this gets resolved. Mayor Edward Lemon says until they get more information, no further decisions will be made. Before we can make any decisions, we've got to uh, have evidence, we've got to have um, written statements, we've got to have a lot of things before we can make a, a full-fledged full decision. While news of the investigation may have come as a shock, the mayor says it will not define the direction that Barnwell is headed in the future. So sure, it was, it was upsetting. Um, but we're going to take care of it the best way we can and, and um, move forward and, and we'll be fine. You know, we can just pray for the best and hope that this thing turns out, you know, to not be devastating to Barnwell. I also had the chance to talk with Tom Berry of the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. He wouldn't say much, but he did confirm that SLED is investigating allegations against Chief Black. When we get more information, we'll give it to you on our website, WJBF.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dorika Young, WJBF News Channel 6.